to another episode of Author Fan Face Off. We've got one great author, one big fan of the author. We pick a book by that writer, and we're going to find out who knows more. I'm Steve Shankin, and my co-host is, of course, the leaping librarian, Stacey Ratner. <laughs> and this is exciting for me. This is one of my favorite authors as our guest today, Jack Gantos. Thank you for joining us. Yeah. Thank you for having me on. Really anticipating a good little battle of the book thing here. Oh, good. I hope so. Now you've got a lot of books. We picked this was this was partly my choice. Picking Dead End in Norvelt, one of my favorite books. And I will go out on a limb and say I think it has the funniest line ever in a middle grade novel. Can I may I read to you from page twenty six? This is not one of the questions, but this scene with no context. I'm just going to read it, where Jack says, "Please, Miss Volker, please don't eat your own flesh." <laughs> I'm just going to leave that out there. So um, Stacy will introduce your can, your challenger today, Jack. Super excited to introduce Jaden, eighth grader from Illinois, who is kind, enjoys reading, a friend to others, and a Marvel watcher. Is that a good description, Jaden? Yep. <laughs> So he is with us to challenge Jack on, um, and we're just going to jump right in. All right, you ready? Yep. You guys ready? J and J? Okay. Jaden, you get the first question. Whenever Jack gets startled, this happens to him. He has a nosebleed. Yeah. Okay. Very good. See, easy. All right. And then Jack. The town of Norvelt was founded by this famous historical figure. Well, the town of Norvelt was founded by the fabulous, wonderful Eleanor Roosevelt. Woo! Yes. Very good. Good first round. All right. We think they get harder as we go along, but you can let us know. Jaden, Jack's father orders him to mow down this crop to make room for a runway. That would be Jack's and mom's cornfield in their backyard. Yes. Oh, excellent details. Very good. Very good. This was an easy book to write questions for, I have to say, because it's just every page has 10 hilarious details on it. All right, Jack. What is Jack's favorite column in the newspaper? Oh, my favorite column in the newspaper then and oh. even now is still this day in history. Sorry. Even now, still true. Yeah. All right. Very good. Okay, we're we're just moving along. I I love this vision visual. Uh, Jaden, how does Mr. Spitz get around town? Um, he rides around town on a tricycle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then this little detail, Jack. What U.S. president is on a two dollar bill? Oh, 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 Thomas Jefferson, of course. <laughs> and a friend of mine sent me one, I don't know, about six months ago, because it's good luck to have a $2 bill in your wallet. So I've been carrying this around and hoping for good luck. So I don't know. I've never heard that before, but. Good luck. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know that was good. I would have started doing that. All right. Yeah. Now we're getting down to things that happen or referred to. Fewer times throughout the book. So, Jaden, what is Miss Volker's favorite type of Girl Scout cookie? Thin mint. Yes. Thin mint. Oh, that's a detail. Jack, what? Mm. This is tough. Mm. What is the nickname? Jack and Bunny play on a baseball team, or at least Jack does before he's grounded. What is the nickname of their baseball team? Huffer Death Squad. <laughs> wow. Very cool. Yeah, you had time to take a drink. You looked very confident there. <laughs> all right. I mean, you forget a name like that. Perfect oh. all around so far. I know. All right, Jaden, this is this is it. Members of this gang burned down a house in Norvelt. Um, that would be the Hells Angels. Oh my gosh, great. Okay. Jack, like this, this comes up only a couple times. Jack wears his most recent Halloween costume to visit Miss Mrs. Dubicki. What is the costume? Is 
the Grim Reaper. Woo! <laughs> yeah, that is. Oh God. That is a hilarious scene because uh, <laughs> she doesn't realize this. <laughs> Jack in his costume. So I'm sure you get asked this all the time. I mean, you, did you when you set out to write this book? Did you know from the start the main character is going to be named Jack Gantos? Yeah, 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 yeah. And 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 Miss Miss Volker is a real person. Her name's oh. Miss Walker. <laughs> and, and, oh. and my mom used to send me down to her house all the time to help out. And is the detail with the wax based on a, a real memory? She actually, that was her, that was her arthritic uh, solvent. That's what she did. Wow. It would, she would dip it in hot wax and she would get relief out of that. All yeah. right. So we need a tiebreaker question. Uh -oh. Um, because we can't just leave it as a tie five to five. We always have a few extra questions here. What do you think, Stacey? Should we go with the longer one? I think so. I think these yeah, guys think so. are- It's a multi-parter, yeah. and I realize now that you guys are, are such good experts. It's not too hard for you. All right, so for Jack's birthday, his parents give him three categories of gifts. They call them good, better, and best. And there's actually a total of six. So the way I want to work it is give one point for each gift you can name. And I'll just go back and forth. So- Jaden, if you wanted to start, if you could think of one, one of those gifts that he got. Um, I know that the best gift was one get out of jail free card for him to leave the house because he was grounded. Yep. Take it yep. to the drive-in movie theater. Yeah. And one free ride in the plane. Wow. The right. That's actually, so you came up with three of the six. That puts the pressure on your opponent because there are three left now, no. the good and the better. Jack, what do you what do you have to say about that? I have to say, I have to say that I had the other three. <laughs> so, so let's see, what were the other three? The, the good other and three. the better. Oh my God! What well, what could the other three possibly be? Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. What did Jack want? Um, what did he want? Let's see. Um, do you get solvent for the for the horse for the the pony? Did he fix the pony up? Get a farrier? Was that part of it? He did that at some point, but it wasn't one of the birthday presents. Well, it wasn't. No. Oh well, I've already sunk below you already. So <laughs> I'm behind. Um, uh, let's see what I get to go to the drive in movie. I get to go to the movies. Yes, Is yes. One of them? But Jaden didn't mention that. <laughs> no, I thought maybe you would forget. Um, and, <laughs> and, and the practical what, ones. Think, what are the practical ones? Think about that. Practical. I don't know, a new shovel. That yeah. would be, you know, something my father would get. A me. shovel is important because of the time setting. This is actually, this is the summer of 1962, which is close to my heart. I'm writing, a, I'm just finishing a book now that's set in the Cold War. And the climactic moment is the Cuban Missile Crisis, which is October of 1962. So that's right on the horizon. And, and everyone was thinking about nuclear war and bomb shelters. So yeah, Jack's dad is forcing him to... Uh, to dig a bomb shelter, and that's what the shovel is for. Yes, I got a shovel for my birthday. I remember that. Oh, that to dig a shelter or, or just a shovel for fun? No, to dig a shelter. Ah, no. No, I, I, got you a, I got you a gift. I'm like, oh, great, a gift, <laughs> a shovel. I'm like, oh, thanks, Dad. What I have down is, is the second good one was a dish, dish towels with his name on it. That was... And then there was the better one, which was not a gift for him at all. His parents volunteered him to do something. It was volunteering at um, a center to read books to the old folk. Old <laughs> read books, yeah. No wonder I forgot both of those. Those are the kind of things that, that you intentionally forget in life. Yeah, well, congratulations, Jaden. Nice job. Dude, yeah. you're awesome. You're a winner. Oh, thank you. You are the winner. Boom. I I just I just wish you the best, Jaden. You know, going forward. I know it's been a tough year, tough school year, but things will probably open in the fall. 
and uh, you can rev it back up. You're a great guy. Thank you once again for reading that book. You're terrific. Thank you for writing it and yeah. giving me the opportunity to talk to you. No, oh, anytime. <laughs>